whenever you're trying to redesign a, uh, you know, a real classic, an institutional jersey like the, you know, like the pink jersey that Mario Rosa in the Giro, I mean, that that's uh, it's a pretty big undertaking. But uh, you know, my first impression is is that that it's remained true to the classic design, but yet added a little bit of flair to it. And um, you know, that that's, I mean, Paul Smith across the board is is taking classic designs and then just adding little details to them. For our team in 2013, I have to say that the Giro is our number one priority. And we'd really, we'd really like to, you know, to defend the championship and, you know, and do honor to the fact that, that we won the race last year. I mean, I, I think uh, amongst those of us who've been around the sport for a while, and you know, and guys like Brad Wiggins, who I know is a real, you know, he's a real historian of the sport. Uh, the Giro is. You know, it's it's got a spirit that maybe no other race has. Uh, I mean, of course, the Tour de France, from a commercial perspective, is always you know the most important race of the year. But when you're a guy who you know has grown up watching the great races on TV and, and sort of uh, you know re really you know looking back at the past of cycling and and and. Um, and and being a historian of the sport, you know, the, the Giro has a special place. And so I can see why, you know, Brad wants to come and, and, and try to win. I can see why, you know, Contador is considering it. I can see, you know, why all the big stars, that they, they want to they wanna be part of cycling history. And that that's, you know, every bit as important to them as, as it is, you know, being the most well-known cyclist. Well, you know, Ryder's a different sort of rider. He needs... Uh, the race to be extremely hard in order to win. It's the only way he can win is is when it it comes down to just you know in the third week in a real slugfest. He's not explosive, you know. He's not the best time trialist out there. But what he does have is an a, incredible resilience. So if the race itself is played out in a really hard way and a really aggressive way and it grinds people down, then then I think he's got a very good chance. Well, you know, Michele Acorone, uh has proven to be very progressive in his thinking about uh, how the sport can progress forward and and how to make the Giro d'Italia the best and the biggest race in the world. Um, so, you know, I've been actively working and negotiating with him on behalf of, of the team's union, uh, trying to get, you know, something in place that, that, that um, you know, that's good for both the teams and, and for the Giro. Well, you know, in the end, if the best riders come to the Giro d'Italia, then eventually it becomes the biggest race. And Michele is very intelligent and is thinking that way. My first mission was to get the AGCP recognized again internationally. Later on, of course, you know, and it was very well publicized um, that race radios were going to be banned. Um, they haven't been. They're still in use in World Tour racing t this year and will be next year as well. Um, so that ban has been pushed off the table. Uh, we've opened active conversations uh, regarding media rights uh, with various race organizers. Uh, so, you know, across the board, uh, there's been a lot of progress. Well, I mean, the AGCP is the only official body that, that, that um, you know, that is recognized as representing the teams. It's, it's an organization to protect the rights of the teams. Um, the MPCC, on the other hand, is, has much more of an ethical focus. Um, it's almost like, I don't know, you know, one is a, you know, one is an association and the other one's a bit of a religion in a way. We're always the underdog team, uh, and but a team full of underdogs. So, um, but this year, I think we've got another surprise for the Tour de France. and, and Quite frankly, I think it's with a guy who, you know, eventually has the physiological and the psychological uh, qualities to to be on the final steps in Paris. I don't know if it'll be in 2013, but um, one day I'm I'm confident he'll be on the podium at the Tour de France. Be sure to subscribe to GCN.